Hello everyone, I am Veos and welcome back to part 2 of the Beowulf class warship build and design. And uh, so next we need to go ahead and, well, other than adding lights to it, we need to add another control tower. Although I think it looks good without one. Mm, I'm tempted to put one on there, but it actually looks kind of good without one. We'll see. We'll leave that last. If I still feel like putting one on there, then I'll do that. But if not, that's that's actually pretty cool. All right, so we need um some um some way to control this thing. We're going to use a variety of reaction wheels. Actually, let's do this. Let's build a single control unit. And what I mean by that is, well, uh, I'll show you. I show you. I show you. I show you. Alright, so, uh, basically, there's gonna be four of these, four of these units. Vernor, Vernor engines use a mixture of liquid fuel and oxidizer. And since we only have liquid fuel on board, it's gonna need its own fuel tank. Uh, and a reaction wheel behind it to help with that. So hopefully, hopefully this will work. And if not, well, I'm screwed. Okay, alright, a little bit covered up right here, but I think it'll be... <laughs> It's a lot covered up, actually. Um, her. Hmm. That is a lot covered up. Well. I'm just going to ignore it for now. I'm going to pretend I didn't see that. Going to wheel this in there. There we go. All right. Where's the center of mass on this thing, anyway? Uh, oh, well, it's close. Pretty close. Not perfect, but close. Can I get away? Can I get away with just taking this out just a pinch? Hmm. Hmm. And then, uh, if it bothers me more later on, then I'll do something about it. And until then, I shall leave it as is. Not quite sure why I'm doing this. It felt right. Okay, so uh, I wanted to try to put on some extra fuel on here. We'll have fuel that's protected by the armor and fuel that's not so protected by the armor. It just gives us a uh, um, longer range. But if it blows up, it blows up. I'm not really worried about it. The only downside to having ships like this in KSP is the fact that if they get damaged, they're pretty much done. There's no fixing them. There really isn't. I I don't see it happening. There's no there's no way you can go to a you know unless unless like for instance unless you somehow land at the KFC. KFC. Gosh, damn it, I'm hungry. KSC and recover them and pretend you, you know, repaired them inside the hangar bay or something. Other than that, there's no in-game world way of repairing them in space. That's why uh, when I was making Solar Nations, I made a lot of the ships modular so that if they were damaged or destroyed, that part can be taken off completely and a new part can be brought up and attached to the spacecraft. Even if the part itself, if its attachment point on the ship had broken off, then that just meant that there was more damage to the ship which meant that that section of the ship would have to be taken off as well which made it even more cool oh yeah oh oh my uh we're gonna line them up with every girder segment or yeah so let's see that's uh one girder segment is already taken up so this is the second girder segment put it right in the middle try to keep things in order here just a little bit and uh, put another one in the middle good skip that and here's another girder segment put one right in the middle good here's another segment put one right in the middle good here's another segment patty cake patty cake okay right in the middle and up oh, we're all done well that effectively boosted our delta v to what what the fuck oh oh it's reading the yeah let me bring this down yeah and boom, there we go. So, effectively jumped back up to 3,600 uh, Delta V. And now the TWR is absolute crap. But hey, we're not trying to outrun anybody. We're just trying to get there. Lights, let's go for lights. Okay, so we have new lights that we can choose from now. Oh, you know what? I wish the mod that uh, turns off the lights inside the uh, space plane hangar worked. I haven't seen one working yet. There must be something out there like mods continued, but that'd be nice. It's too bad they didn't think about that when they made the stock, but that's okay. We're all waiting impatiently for the KSP2 to come out. It's gonna be freaking awesome. I can't tell a lie. It's gonna be freaking awesome. Looks pretty good so far. 
Although I'll have to see what it looks like in actual night. You know, the wingy bits can actually double as... There we go. Ooh. Wow. It's a lot brighter. It's actually much, much nicer. Okay. I knew there was a reason why I had those wings out there. Alright, so the interior where the missiles are, I I'm going to make it a nice red color. Oh my. <laughs> Hi there. Name's Flynn Rider. So you come here often? We are now rocking almost 350 parts. Whew. I think I'll make the back area red too. And I'm getting a little bit of red feedback here, so I'm going to take it and actually turn it up in a way. There we go. That'll be fine. I don't care if we can see it or not. I think I'll do the same with this. Sort of turn it away. There we are. Okay. All right. So last but not least, it's weapons. We need to make torpedoes. So what I will do is I'll make a new file. We'll figure out what to call these torpedoes. But first I need to make uh, a dummy torpedo. Now the smaller the torpedo, the less heavier it is. And therefore the further range the ship can go. But the larger the torpedo, the heavier it is. And of course, you know, all that jazz with Delta V for the ship. So we have to build a weapon that is powerful enough to take out an enemy, but not heavy enough to keep the ship from getting to the enemy. All right, and this weapon, of course, needs some serious control. It needs a good engine, and it needs a payload, aka warhead. In this case, because it's stock, there really is no, there really is no explosive warhead we can put on this thing, but, however, we can give it a serious punch, and these ore tanks can fully full of uh, damn ore can give you a serious punch six tons already this is a heavy hitter this is like getting clocked by mike tyson you know what it's great let's, let's call it the tyson torpedo that's funny merge and we should just be able to stick it there we go oh okay hmm well then uh so we've got about that much space. That much space. Mm -hmm. This this is a pretty massive torpedo. I mean, I, w I will I will say that it's pretty it's pretty big. So yeah, I don't see what we can't. Let's do this. Let's actually so we don't have a freaking motherboard staring at us when we look at the front. There we go. Put that right there. Bring it in. Oh, that's uh, it's actually quite uh, quite nice. So I turned everything off on the torpedo and put it on the action group zero. That way, I don't have to worry about it rolling around in the weapons bay while I'm trying to control the craft. Whoops, that is the wrong ship file. Grab the torpedo. There it is. Merge. Hey, finally. <laughs> and let's make sure that they're not touching anything. Now, how about for the escape pod? All right, I think we're good. Let's go ahead and load up the other side. Bingo. Save. Rocking almost 500 parts now. Hey, yeah. All right, well, I can't think of anything else that this ship needs to be completed. It's got RCS, reaction wheels, fuel for reaction wheels. It's got uh, plenty of Delta V now, up to 3,000. So it's 3,000. Fully loaded with a complement of Tyson torpedoes. Um, armor's good. Everything's auto-strutted, rigid attachments. It's got the lights everywhere. Uh, the only thing I can think of now is uh, a way to board the craft. We have to have a way to actually board the craft. All right, so we have a place to dock. Oh no, it looks like crap. <laughs> it really, really, really hurts my design. Oh no. Save, grab, switch, and actually that looks much better. Much, 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 much better. 
Muy, 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 muy better. Okay. <sighs> oh, wait. This ship needs a flag. A flag? Yes, a flag. A flagon. Woohoo! All right. Wish I had a custom flag. I, I would have made like a, a neat, uh, a neat uh, fighter ship kind of thing going on. What other flags can we put on here that make it look cool? Uh, I can't see it. Ooh, that, actually, that's sexy. I don't know why. It, all it is is aerospace division, but it actually looks really, really nice. <laughs> Let's try this. There you go, Inter. I know you like this flag. I don't know why, but this one's for you, buddy. There you go. Take a picture of that. All right. That's enough of that. <laughs> Yeah, if I was con if I was building like a construction, you know what? I'm actually getting really tickled right now. I would love to build like uh, different types of spacecraft, like futuristic looking spacecraft for different things. So like a like a construction spacecraft or a hauling spacecraft or or maybe a trucker, like space truckers or something. Ooh, that looks military ish, isk sort of. Okay, very pretty, very nice. Uh, I'm liking this. I am liking this. Well, you know what? I'm actually all out of time. I'm so sorry, guys. I, I was fiddling around with this thing, and I really wanted to see it fight today, but we're going to have to save that for another video. We're going to have to do a Beowulf class versus Beowulf class video. It's going to have to be another video, because to be honest, in order to get this thing up there and load up another one and to fight and do the maneuvers, that's a whole nother video by itself. So look forward to that in the next video. But man, this is pretty. Ho ho. Oh ho ho. This is pretty. I would love to make, um, maybe, maybe, maybe I'll have enough time to make my own uh, flag stuff. And yeah, I think, um, I think this is going to be a thing for a little while. I might revisit the SSRT um, again since that one seemed to got, uh, like the rocket space plane one, got a lot of views. So I might revisit that one again. We'll see. Um, and yeah, okay. I am Veos, signing off. And have a wonderful night, or day, or, you know, stuff. I really like that. Look at that. Gosh, that's sexy. Damn. And remember to share, like, and subscribe. <laughs> Yeah.